So there have been some leaks and rumors and information about Breath of the Wild in relation to the Switch 2 or whatever the next Nintendo console is actually going to be called. So basically to summarize all this up, it seems as if we're getting Breath of the Wild but an upscaled version of it, like a 4K version, better loading times, just better graphics and everything on the actual next Nintendo console, which is pretty cool. I have a lot of concerns and thoughts about this though because I... I feel like this may be a cash grab type of thing, but also, you know, the fans are going to love it, so I don't know. I mean, I have some tweets to go over and all that. And also, guys, I'm doing a giveaway. When I hit 12,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway is subscribe to the channel, leave a like down below, and comment that you want to be in the giveaway and that you have done those things and then, you know just stay tuned in future videos and then when i actually hit 12k subs i'll be announcing the giveaway winner so over here on twitter we got midori he says there's a project at nintendo with the code name u-king-o it might be related to the rumors of the next nintendo console code name and somebody replied to that and said this is an enhanced version of breath of the wild breath of the wild's code name is u-king for switch one ports nintendo likes to add the suffix dash s to a game's code name but this one has a dash o suffix which they have never used before i think this is for the successor and dash c is for 3ds because the 3ds is ctr and then the other guy says yep captain toad port is the perfect example of this it was kinopio on wii u kinopio dash s on switch and kinopio dash c on the 3ds so that's pretty cool so it seems like the next switch console or switch to next nintendo console whatever has like the code name o for you know some of the games in the coding like this so that's pretty cool so i feel like the enhanced version of breath of the wild is a cool thing because it's obviously like an incredible game people you know debatably say it's one of the best or the best legend of zelda games ever created and people love it. it has a ton of sales but my issue is i hope that this is not like a cash grab thing like i hope that there is some sort of value in this whether it be like the game is cheaper like 20 dollars or something like that or you could upscale it like i hope you could upscale it if you already own breath of the wild on the switch you could plug it into the switch 2 because it seems like the switch 2 is going to be backwards compatible i'm pretty sure that's like basically confirmed i don't see why it wouldn't be backwards compatible and they already had this game on the wii u so that means this game would be on the wii u the switch and then the switch 2 so there has to be some sort of like benefit you know what i mean like it can't they can't charge another 60 dollars for it or 70 which just seems like video games are 70 dollars now which is insane and i really think there's going to be some sort of upscaling like where you could use the switch one cartridge you plug it you put it in the switch 2 and then it like upscales the game digitally like a digital download type of thing I, I hope that's the way it would be. I can't imagine them actually charging the price of a brand new game for this. That would just be absurd. I think this is a great thing, though, because well, people are still going to want to play Breath of the Wild or even replay Breath of the Wild on the next Switch console or even just going on in, like, future years of gaming. So this is a good, good thing, I think. It's going to make the game look so much more incredible, which... It already looks so good on the Switch console, which is crazy because, as you know, a lot of games don't look good on the Switch console because it's kind of outdated. Another issue, though, is, like, this is so soon. Like, it's kind of so sudden to have, like, another, like, a remake or remaster, I guess. I don't even know what I'd call this. I guess just an enhanced version. I guess that would kind of be, like, a remaster of a game that just came out. Well, I guess it's already been out for a while, but you know what I'm saying. Recently, so will they do the same thing with Tears of the Kingdom? I would assume so, because I... You know, I mean, I know that game literally just came out last year, but I would assume they would probably do the same for Tears of the Kingdom. I'd honestly prefer to have a brand new Zelda game, which we're obviously going to get a new Zelda game on the Switch too. Like, there's there's no doubt about it, but I'd rather have them give us a new Zelda game or like a remake or remaster of a Zelda game that we haven't actually, you know, had remade or remastered yet before Breath of the Wild remastered or upscaled on the Switch too. I feel like I'm saying a lot of upscaling, master, remaster. It's kind of confusing. And um, so over on Centro Leaks, he posted a couple days ago like that the Switch 2 placeholder name was Muji, which it seems like this is actually, that was false, and he claims that that was wrong. And now the code name for the new next Nintendo console seems to be Ounce. O-U-N-C-E. It was accidentally leaked by Nintendo in a Switch firmware update last year. Some are speculating whether Ounce is a way to obfuscate OZ. We don't know yet. So, as you guys know, like, every console has, like, a code name. Like, the Switch, I'm pretty sure, was just X, I think was the code name. And then in the comments or replies, again, to Midori's original post, Pyro responded, which I'm pretty sure is a pretty reputable leaker. Like, he's got a lot of things accurate in the past. He says, I knew that code name, but never thought it could be related to Ounce or something. To be honest, Midori's made a great point here. 
So, um, I think this is pretty cool information, but I'm curious to see what you guys want or would prefer to have for like the future Zelda games. And I, I kind of wonder what the next official like big Zelda game will be and when that would be released because I would imagine they would want to do that like early in the Switch's two lifespan so they can get more sales of the new console rather than giving us Breath of the Wild at the launch. I mean, I was kind of thinking it'd be cool to have Breath of the Wild be like a released alongside the Switch 2 as like a launch title, or like a bundle title where it's just like, you know, the regular cost of the Switch, but you get Breath of the Wild, remastered, upscaled, whatever, digitally for free or something like that. I think that'd be pretty neat to have. But I, like I said, I, I feel like they would have to release a brand new Zelda game pretty early on in the next Switch's lifespan because I'm pretty sure Breath of the Wild released relatively close to the Switch's launch. I, I, I can't remember exactly if it was like on launch or recent, like relatively close to the launch of the Switch 1, but you know, the Switch 2 apparently is going to have so much more power and capability, so games are going to look so much more incredible, and the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom games look so good on the Switch 1 already as it is. I'm so curious to see how the future of Zelda games look, because Zelda games look incredible now. It's, it's crazy to see how Zelda used to look way back in the day compared to now. It's, it's genuinely incredible, and I hope Pokemon follows that suit coming up on the switch too like i hope legend ca looks crazy with the with the graphics and i hope whatever future pokemon game like pokemon generation 10 whatever i hope that those graphics are just amazing and i hope they live up to the zelda standard i feel like they need to be at the at the zelda standard the the map is huge in breath of the wild and, and tears of the kingdom and it just looks so great like i don't know where they went wrong with and violet but i know this has been a debate ever since scarlet and violet came out or even since like before they came out when the trailers were being released I don't know, but it's pretty cool to see that we have like several pre-reputable leakers mention stuff about the Switch 2. I mean, it's no secret that there's going to be a Switch 2 or a Switch successor pretty soon. I, I think that they want to release it next year. I can't imagine it being released in 2024. I feel like, I feel like it won't, but you never know. Nintendo likes to release their consoles close to the end of the year, so people buy them up for Christmas time and everything, for presents, so they get more sales, of course. But they, they're, they're smart. Nintendo's a smart company, and I feel like they're going to release some good heavy hitter titles with the Switch 2 because they don't want to have another another Wii U issue. You know how the Wii U released? Many people thought it was just a Wii, you know, update, like an updated version of the Wii. Many people didn't know it was like a brand new console, which is part of the reason why it was a huge flop in, you know, the on the business standpoint. The Wii U is awesome. I think it's an incredible console, but it was a flop. So I can't imagine Nintendo going through all that again. So I feel like they're going to have to release some some pretty big games upon release of the Switch 2. So that makes me think that they're going to do a bigger Zelda game. Like maybe they'll release a brand new Zelda game with like uh, a, a, a way to play Breath of the Wild. Like, you know, also with the, that game, if that makes sense. Or do what Sony does and how they can upscale the game. Like, for example... I have a PS5 and I recently played through the Spider-Man game, um, the Insomniac Spider-Man game a couple months ago, and I have the PS4 disc and I plugged it into my, or I put it into my PS5 and I had the option to pay $10 to get like the PS5 version, like the upscaled version of the Spider-Man game. So I feel like that's what they're going to do with Breath of the Wild because it's going to be, because the Switch 2 is most likely going to be backwards compatible. So I'd imagine they'll have some sort of upscaling hopefully cheap. You know how Nintendo is, they kind of want to get that cash. Hopefully they they give us a good deal because I can't imagine people buying this game another time. It's been on the Wii U and the Switch one and I can't imagine them doing it again on the Switch too. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys are thinking. What are your thoughts about Breath of the Wild on the Switch too?